Hello everybody, this is Techno Paladin. Welcome back to some Dyson Sphere program. And in news, we just got, well, I guess in the last couple days here, the new Dark Fog update will be coming soon, December 2023. So, that gives us a timeline to essentially finish up this, uh, this playthrough. Because when Dark Fog comes out, I am going to start a brand new go. Um, and hopefully we'll get where we want to go. So we're back here on our construction system where I've been kind of building things and we set up a second Dyson shell to start being constructed and we filled in all the gaps of this one so it's kind of doing its thing. And while we were doing that we set up stuff to start pulling everything out of here so we can start getting our little uh, critical photon being created. So we do have to figure out, you know, I don't remember how much we have of those being created, but uh, I do know they're going to somewhere. And they're get, coming here, they're going to be shipped off to one of our planets that has some uh, antimatter construction. And that's one of the things that we're going to be getting into next. So I think since we're getting close to this being over here in, by December, that I think we need to start getting here and making some antimatter fuel. Because, you know, why not? And it's 500%, got 7 gigajoules per, and uh, we can we should be able to burn it in our suit based on the way it sounds. Give us a huge bump over the deuterium. So, for that we need antimatter, we need, uh, see that, that's uh, the hydrogen, and we need this uh, other doohickey and some titanium alloy. So this annihilation sphere constraint. So for that we need pink goo. And we need CPUs. So pink goo is something that we're going to have to get going. I don't know if we, how much we actually have. So let's uh, come down here to our reports. Let's do uh, let's do the entire star cluster. And we'll just do the last hour. And we'll come down here and let's find our pink goo. How are we doing with pink goo? Producing 308, consuming 384, so we definitely need more of that. And that needs three items. And yeah, okay, so let's get to that. So let's come back out here. Uh, I think it was not not this one, but uh, is it this guy here? This one's got all the fire ice, it's got water, see we're not using that one, it's this planet here, there we go. So let's go hit up this, this our third planet in the solar system here, and we get to do a nice flyby of the Dyson Sphere as we go. So we're going to go in and crank in our speed, and because the gravity works, let's uh, make sure we stay a little distance away here. And that's pretty cool that this is the first shell, and we're going to be building a second shell right beside it. So we'll get over here, and we'll start, like I said, we're going to start getting things going as we get antimatter. So we'll get our pink shell, pink goo, whatever, pink, pink something. So let's see what we got, and then we'll go from there and maybe build some more blueprints. Uh, we're going to have to do some design. And some of what we might start looking at with based on the preview that they gave us is starting to redesign some of our blueprints with defense in mind uh, so let's uh, let's come back down here let's see what do we have where's all of our good stuff all right here we go lots and lots of construction so we got the pink casimir crystal and we got those we got some Quantum CPUs, and uh, what else did we do? We did regular CPUs, we did those CPUs, we did crystalline components, we did plane, the plane filter. So now, what we need is, we're going to take one of these recipes that takes three outputs and uh, copy it. Because <laughs> why not? <laughs> This is a 222, so it's an equal parts to make one every four seconds. Um, we can get 
we can, I'm sure we can get more. Uh, so let's see. Uh, what uses three as well? Uh, we can copy. Let's copy the super magnetic ring blueprint. And oh, we're starting to get a little faster on some of our production here. So we got now we're up to electromagnetic matrices, gravity matrices. Let's see which one's which. Gravity. Oh, that's the blue one. Oh, <laughs> we must be really cranking through some of this science now. All right, so off to the blueprints we go. So I'm gonna take this, uh, grab this guy here. We're gonna grab the super magnetic ring. And let's come up here and find a nice little spot for it. Let's see, you might be able to get it right there. Is it too close, maybe? No, it'll let me. All right, cool. Now let's come up here. We got to make sure we get the whichever one's the provider side, which looks like this side here. All right, let's do this. Let's get it here. clear, clear. We did need those, so we're gonna keep that. Uh, we also need copper plate, and we need some graphene. So we're gonna say demand and demand. And then let's come in here, let's change this recipe and get this party started. All right, we want this guy, particle container. So we're gonna start needing a lot of this, it looks like, here as we get towards the end game, or as we are here at the end game, not toward her really. Get all these recipes copied over. Try to get everybody a happy, happy snappy. All right, let's get the next block here. Yeah, I'm sure there's probably a faster way to do this, but you know, I'm an old man stuck in my ways. All that matters is, are you having a good time? And that, I am. So, but while that's doing that, let's clear this. Set this to particle containers. And now the big thing is going to be is supply. So obviously motors we probably have no problem on. Copper plate. Oh, we actually have the graphene too. Okay, cool. So really, I just need to come here and go boom. And boom. And come to this side. And boom. And kaboom. And there we go. We are off to the races. It is cranking away. Let's see. Let's get down here. Produces one every four seconds, so I mean it's gonna take it a bit to fill one of these bad boys up, but uh, it will fill it up. So now we have pink stuff. What else do we need? We need CPUs. We got CPUs being made here, so we should have plenty of that. Um, I might need to actually drop down two of these. So let's go ahead and copy this blueprint. I mean, in in reality, I could. Ooh, wait, hold on missed one <laughs> in reality I could make this actually bigger to be honest I could because this is producing every four seconds and it only needs to we can get a lot more we could actually extend this down and then have these coming back this way so the question is is how many can we get Let's, let's uh, find out. I think we should. Don't you? I think it'll be fun. So let's come in here. Let's uh, this be something different. We're going to kind of go... Go boom. Go boom. Good child. Alright, so... 
that gets us a little bit. Let's uh, see how many can we can we get. A couple of these on here. One, two. Hey, we got two. And copy this one. Well, let us get the two in. Oh, we can fill it right up to the the edge there. That's that was nice. But it looks like the same where powers not enough. Consumption 10, generation 26. Okay, well, we should have plenty. Maybe something's not connecting into the full grid. Because we're getting that yellow. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's bring this down. We're going to see how many of these we can fit on here. Now for this, though, it's going to be a little different on the return. So let's do this outside line we can probably bring right into, uh, into the other. So we can just probably go like that. Um, I'll have to recopy it here, but do something like that. And then... Nope, like so. Alright, and then on this side. Let's see if we can't get another one in here. Oh no, I needed to go over a little further. Okay, let's uh, let's just delete this one. Let's do this one first. Do that. And then we can do that. Like so. Alright, so we got that going. And then we need to get our return line. Now this one, we can kind of do a little bit of a cheat. Kind of come back and go in like so. Because we're not going to get the center line. We're just going to get these two outer lines to do this. So... We could actually kind of do a little bit of a wrap around, make it a little compact. Let's see. Let's see if we get three, four. Da, 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 da. Let's go bring that in. Bring that in. All right. Oops. Connect it up. All right, let's do yeah, let's do five. And then I think we should maybe rotate it. Maybe. 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 We'll see. Let's see. We'll leave a bit of a gap. be able to bring it around but kind of a tight fit I think decisions oops they didn't copy the let's get those back in there Power. How is that one? The only one not powered. It's going to make me offset my grid. Oh, probably because I needed it to be closer. <laughs> well, that would do it. Let's get that bad boy a little closer. Alright. 
That's not too bad, you know, that works. That gives us a little more throughput. Uh, let's see, I might just go ahead and bring it out a little bit further and then we'll clone it to this side. And then I'll debate on what to do next. Let's see. Do that one. And let's just go ahead and drop our power poles down so we have them there. Get you done. All right, and let's just kind of mirror this on this side. Fun with construction. All right, and this one's going to go right back into there. And then we need to make the other side. So let's just go ahead and one, two. One, two. And then let's create that one offset. And that one there. Let's get this line coming back in. Come back. And then we just go. Boom. So that way it just puts down that last one. some power poles and we'll get these things. It looks like we're already uh, consuming everything so we need to go ahead and set up the next bit here. Let's set something up to use these suckers. So in that little bit of time that we were doing to build this, it's already maxed out at 9,000 units. Okay, well, next thing you need, what's this made in? This is made in a re assembler. Okay. It's two input. It takes 20 seconds. Holy goodness. Um, so this could be a really big blueprint if I go max volume here. Because that is slow. I don't know how big of a blueprint I want to make. Because then it just makes it harder to drop it onto a surface of a planet. Let's see. Uh, well, we're going to... Let's make something. We're going to do it right here. We're going to make this bad boy from scratch because it could be a good size. Let's go with this guy here. So, actually, you know what? Why am I doing this from scratch? Yes, let's do this. Let's just come in here and let's grab the electric turbine, since it's a twofer. And then we're going to, uh, let's rotate this, and uh, I'm going to take the end off, and we're going to make it bigger. All right, let's do that. Let's get this down and let's so I can clobber it. Alright, clobber, clobber. Okay. I'll let this build. I'm going to delete that. And then let's just uh go ahead and get this recipe set here. So we are going to be making annihilation constraint spheres. Step closer to antimatter annihilation. And where did I do it? I did it right there. Okay, let's go. Boom. Yeah, 
you know what? Hold on. I got a lot of these to do, so let's get that all dropped down. Now let's just do this. Let's see. I, I should be able to just go. Rip. And then. Whoop. spot. Do, 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 I know, yeah, this is definitely a little faster way, but it's just as uh, time consuming, in my opinion. Okay. Now that took care of that, but since this thing is so darn slow, let's um come in here and kill that. Kill that, kill that, that, kill that. And we are going to make it longer. Go here. Let's see. Let's see how this does. It's like with how slow this construction is, I should have no problem supporting this higher volume. Much bigger, much, much bigger little plant here. Kind of makes you wish we had the, uh, now that I've been playing Factorio more, some of the efficiency modules. So then if we can do that to increase the speed, that'd be kind of neat. Alright, let's get this done. One step closer to antimatter. Okay, dokie. Now, let's get. Uh, doo -doo -doo. And let's go. 12, 13, 12. Alright, you know what? I want to get room for three more. So, probably about right. There. Uh, we'll fix that in a minute. Do, 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 do. Let's get all these down because this will just make things so much easier. You know what? Why am I doing this the hard way? You know what? I keep thinking, you know, that this is there's a better there's gotta be a better way to do this. So let's just do this. Let's just grab that three stack. Say use now. I don't even have to have a full blueprint. Just come in here and just go bloop. Uh oh shoot. Um Okay, hold on. Let me get this lined up right. Let's kill this. Okay. And I want... Oops. Let's come back in here to blueprint mode. I want these right here. Let's do four and five. Say use. Let's see if this will work. Uh, yep, should be okay. Hey, 
and it's just it's just saying it's colliding with my roads that are or belts that I already put down. And look at that! Oh, so much easier. Work smarter, not harder, dude. It's like it's just so used to dealing with full blueprints whenever I'm doing something. But uh, playing Factorio, now that I'm getting into the blueprint mood. Hey, why didn't my... Uh... Wait, where's my... My belts. Did I run out of belts? I ran... No, I got 200. All of them didn't copy my belts. What the heck? Gosh dang it. All right. Let's just get, get this fixed. I probably ran out of belts and <sighs> getting restocked as we go. Okay, so, well, almost made this easy. It's still easier than what it was, so. Let's just do that. And boom. And copy that one. Go on down. Whee. See, because some of these had belts. See these bottom ones. Weird. Okay, well now everything should have a belt. Now, we can come in here and clean up my belts. And then we can set our returns. Okay, now we need one of these guys. So let's just go ahead and build it about right there. And then let's just get it all to go in. Boom. Boom. This goes one, two, and let's just do three, like so. And up to one, one, two. And three. Give you guys some stuff. Give this guy that stuff. Make that supply. Now let's go turn this bad boy on. That is a lot of factories. Okay. This needs particle chamber and CPU. Demand, demand. All right, here we go. Let the good times roll. Now we need one and two. So one, two, one, and two. And we'll go two, and one, and two, and one. And with that, well, once it gets to the point it can keep up, then we will have us some constraint spheres. Let's just see. It should get all the way down, have no yellow ticky marks. That would make my day. And look at that. We have construction of our constraint sphere and it's cranking away. All right, it is time to turn this guy at least into a blueprint because it's a big boy. Do, 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 do. Go boom and say, end game 
Constraint Sphere. And we'll give it our nice little pretty picture and save. All right, now, now that we have that, uh, we can come over here. Let's see, what else do we need for antimatter? So everything else we should be able to import or have already here. So we need made in, oh, this is all made in an assembler. So we need an antimatter fuel rod, huh? And what about this guy? Made in an assembler. Hmm. Okay. I was thinking we would need the particle energy can blah, 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 car particle collider thingy, but okay. Wow, this is a four input. We I don't think we've done one but with four. That one's going to be a beast. And it's going to take two lines. We'll do two lines. It makes it in 24 seconds. We get two. We get 12, 12, 1, 1. All right, so first, first order of business. We need antimatter. So I need to come in here and say, hey, I don't want to take all of it because we need it for our research too. And we'll do this to see if we can get some to come in. That's not looking very good. That's saying we were pretty much using everything. So let's go take a look. Production. And I wish, like I said, I wish there was a search. I could do, let's see, this is, uh, do that. I would have thought that would have been antimatter, but, okay, let's just do default order. So we got our exotic particle. We can look for that too. So we got antimatter. We're only producing 280 and consuming 857. Well, that's not good. At least our photon production is up to snuff. Kind of. Barely. Critical Photon, 290 out of 280. So, what does that mean? That means, well, that means I need to make some more stuff here. Let's, uh, let's see. What do we got to do? So, part of that means... For our Dyson spheres. Uh, oh, why am I doing it that way? I could do it this way. We need to get these things constructing faster. The only way to do that is to give it more rockets and more solar sail production. Oh, yeah, our drones are going to go faster. Uh, so we are requested 1.6. We are getting 1.94. So we will soon be able to add even more critical photon creation on this as well. All right, well, what we can do is set up our process to support the critical photon, and this is just barely keeping up. I might need to put down another one. Let's see, how about this side of it, though? Uh, we need more copper plate. Go figure. Uh, do we have copper up here? Local demand, remote supply. You know what? Let's just change this to local supply and remote demand. So that way, instead of sending it off world, we bring it in world. We need it. All right, that should take care of that for now. Um, so I could go ahead and look at completing this little mess of this thing that I was thinking about doing here. Or I could just leave it as is for now, which I might just do that. Let me create this as a blueprint. Do, 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 do. And we'll go in the game slash, and this is a particle container. so I can spell 
And we'll go there and save. Okay, so. That's uh, cranking its little booty off right now. It's doing its thing. This is full, so we can actually probably lower that down. We don't need as much at a time because, well, it doesn't produce that fast. Okay. Well, I could go ahead and just build the blueprint. Uh, let's find the spot so we can at least have it ready to go. Uh, yeah, we should be able to do it from here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get us a... Uh, well, let's see, do I have any in storage? I do. Good. Let's grab that. Let's get us a tower. Let's put it in the same line as that one. And, well, I'll put that down in a minute. Let's see. So we have four out. So I go three and one, three and one. And then we're going to do this guy. Well, you know what I could do? Because we're not going to be able to get a whole lot onto this. Let's, um... Let's change this for an ILS. We gotta screw it over a little bit here. And then what I could do is I could actually request Animator directly, but that's okay. Once it saves, let's go ahead and just, let's just start getting this done. So we need antimatter, we need hydrogen, we need constraint spheres and we need titanium alloy. And we need to make antimatter. So this uh, is going to be, it's a 12-12. So these are small amounts. So we can probably do something like that. And let those be full. I'll give it that. I'll go ahead and give it some of those. Don't know if it'll need it. We can worry about that later. So what I'm thinking to do then is have... Let's see. We want to have... I need four lines coming off. We'll have a line coming back this way. A line coming back that way. And then I think I'm going to need these guys, actually. Let's grab our splitters. Let's go to the top level one. Do that, and then we can kind of do a boom, boom. Then we can kind of come and do that, and then we can kind of do that. Yeah. Now, I can't get four on one side. So we're going to do two and two. So we can have one of the one point. Uh, we'll come out here. Let's just say it's. Uh, we're going to use this one on this and then go. And then we come over here like so. And then we can take this one and we can do, say, antimatter. And come like so. And I know I shifted this a little out, but I mean, it's because of these things. They don't let us build right next to it, so it is what it is. And then we're going to have this here. So if I do that, let's see, and then I can do, we do our line here, and a line here, and this one here is going to be the hydrogen. 
pull out the titanium alloy off the back. Make it as a little tight, tight fit here. Now this means that we're basically just going to create a line out from here and a line out from here, and that's it. Um, so not really a max line here. We're going to kind of just drag these out. Let's um, let's uh, you know what? Let me get two of these done. Let's go ahead and get the recipe. Antimatter. Let's clone that to this side. Like so. We can do this one like so. Again, this will be. This is the inside line, so we'll do antimatter. Oh wait, no, no, this is the outside line. I'm gonna change that. This one'll be antimatter. This one is gonna be the constraint sphere. Then let's get us our two blocks. And then we can get our number one. And this is going to be the hydrogen and titanium alloy. Like so. Okay. And then will this power get us? No, we're going to have to do it on both sides. So. So, paste, paste. Let's set up our doohickeys here. So let's just do one, two, three. Out, in, in. And then. In, 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 in. And then mirror that on this side. Let's do out. Out. In, in. In, in. Oh, come on. In, in, in. And done. Okay, now let's do our little blueprint doohickey thingy a bobber. So we want that. Uh, no, not that. Uh, dang it. Um, it's going to get that thing in there. Uh, let's just do Can I do that? Does that get it all? It does. Okay. So use now. Yeah, there's that. Dang it, I'm going to have to fix the the belts here. Okay, well, let's just fix the belts.
Oh, come on. All right. Dang it, you know what? I probably just screwed up, but maybe, maybe not, maybe not. I forgot about proliferation. Let's see where we can stick it all. Okay, proliferation time. Come on, why does it do that? I mean, that's not even a valid build. Oh, that's not going to be good. That's not cool. Um, I guess I didn't need those splitters, did I? I really didn't. Okay, you know what? Let's uh, fix that. Since I don't need the splitters... Um, I didn't probably need to delete the whole thing. Okay, let's, uh, let's try this again. should give us that eh, should give us some spots to do what we want to do okay this is going to be constraint sphere far line antimatter oh come on Now, as uh, one of my subscribers commented here, uh, I'm just going to proliferate everything on this chain. Inputs and outputs. Uh, can I get it lined up? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Oh, that would be nice. Look at that. All right. Okay, those should all be covered by power. I'll make sure the tower is covered by power. I'll do it on both sides just to make sure we covered. And then we gotta get our box. Our magic box. We'll stick it back here. So this will have a capacity of say, yay. And now let's set up our traffic cop here. We want blue goo. And we want to request it and give you some stuff. And let's get us a one of these nodes here. Get you all connected. And then let's get us some a line here so we're gonna come out up here then we're gonna go up to there and then all the way down bloop, 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 bloop. like so just like so and we're just gonna go out and there we go now we're gonna that'll start us proliferating not that we'll be making it in anything 
because we don't have enough goods here. So now we can do remote demand, remote demand, uh, local demand, local demand. And oh look, we're actually going to get some antimatter in. So maybe we're not using all of it. So that means we might actually get to see some of this get done. Look at that. We Are we going to get construction? Uh, just waiting on the titanium alloy. Can we see it? Can we see it? Because then I can swap out some batteries. How long is it going to take to get some titanium, guys? I guess that's something that we're not making on this planet. Maybe we should. Because once we get the titanium, and there we go, we got some. Good, 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 good. Look at that. We are making... We are making antimatter fuel... And uh, well, well, not all of them are. Okay, well, let's get some of these fixed here. Why is it that some of these didn't want to copy? Okay, let's get this one done. is fixed. What about this one? All right, this one needs All right, that one's fixed. Uh What's wrong with this one? It's not picking up the antimatter. Oh. <laughs> Gosh dang it. I love how it just messes some of this stuff up sometimes. Alright, and this is why I like to go through and just double check everything here. Um, oh, that's why. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, see. We're going to have a couple of these, it looks like. Okay, that's the last one, the last two. Okay, that now all working. No more yellow dots. Nope, one more yellow dot. And I know we're going to be low on materials. That's fine. We're going to start working on that. But, uh, yeah. That I can be happy with. We have some proliferated... Wow, well, we got 600 already. Let me take uh, 30 and shove in here. <laughs> That'll keep me loaded for a little while. So I guess the only thing we have left to do now is uh, make this building here. The artificial star. So we don't have everything on this planet yet again, so we'll have to import a couple things, but uh, mainly the frame material. But uh, I think we should go ahead and make some, if I don't have that already set up. 
Uh, do I actually... I guess the question is, do I have enough room in my uh, mall up here to do it? I think my mall is full. Well, I do have frame materials down, so technically I have everything I need to make the artificial star. I just don't have a slot to stick it in. Not, not that's part of this anyway. Once we autosave, we're going to just make it work because, well, we know we have stuff. So let's just come over here. We're going to come down here in the middle of everything and say, I got a building. Uh, let's do building one. Do I do building two? Well, let's do... Uh, we need four boxes, I think. Uh, let's see. If I come in here and set this to building to artificial star, we need four boxes and an output. So we need four in and out. So let's make this the output box. And then let's get two of these. So we have plenty of these being made. Okay, and then we're going to get us some more boxes here. Let's do one, two, one, two, three, four. And let's just go ahead and set this one up to the constraint sphere thing too, because it takes like half a minute to make one. And let's go ahead and do input, input, input. Input. Output. And now we need two more boxes. Uh, dang it. Come on. Scroll down out of the way. I know, we're getting a little tight fit with everything right here. Uh, let's see. Let's get uh, go that one there, that one there. All right, now we just got to come in here and do one, 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 and then, oh wait, no, this one here, we can have, be like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, let's just do ten. This one here, we'll do one. Okay, that should do it. Now, we need logistics. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, let's set it up. Uh, we're going to say request. And we need titanium alloy, right? So what was it? Alloy, constraint sphere, frame material, and quantum CPU. So alloy. And we are going to set you to quantum. And say... Da, 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 da. And then we're going to set you to constraint spheres, which we got to go set up. And you are going to be frame material. Where are you? There you are. And request, and boom. Okay. Frame material on this one. Do, 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 do. Request, do, do, do. And get constraint spheres. Do, 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 do. Okay. And quantum. Chips. And titanium alloy. 
Bloop. This is going to be artificial star and distribute. And I'll also set it to my suit. Because I think I'm going to clear a spot for him coming up soon. Alright, now let's get this bad boy powered up. And then we'll uh, go set up our uh, these guys. The constraint spheres that we just made. We're going to set up a little export of them from our little box over here where we're making them. Once I get over there. Yep, yeah, it's this long, 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 long production line. Alright, boom. No, why did it? Alright. Let's grab that and let's just do this. And we'll set that to be like two. Should be fine. Let's get you set up. Just come around the side here. Load her up. And get us our logistics added. Wow, is it full already? Oh, it only holds 20 each? Oh my. Okay. Provide. Uh, let's do this. Um, Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just let it fill up a little more. There we go. So based on that, we should, in all theory... Oops. Uh, if everything went according to plan, this should be distributing up here. Well, it says it's coming, so it's not here yet, but it's coming. It's coming. And it needs 10, so I'm going to go ahead and increase this to 3. Same with this one. Just so that way it has a little more room for them. And there they go. They just showed up, and we have our first constraint spheres coming off the line here in the next couple seconds so I think I'm going to end it here with the initial with their coming into the antimatter age of Dyson sphere program so if you stuck through this whole thing thanks for watching uh, we will come back next time and start uh, seeing what we can do with these annihilation constraint sphere power system whatever doohickeys fusion power wonders I'm assuming they're going to run off antimatter, which means we need to build more Dyson spheres and get our production of that good stuff under control. So until next time, remember, subscribe, like, comment, any of that stuff. I'd appreciate it. And until then, good night.